We are back at the warehouse, beautiful Jersey City, New Jersey. It's the second of four quarterfinal matchups. Floorball season three presented to you by DraftKings. One and one team baggage, one and one Wugas. The battle of the O'Brien brothers starts now. Alongside Kelsey Winger, Pavel Barber, I am Chris Rose. Oh yeah, it's like taking on your brother when oh. you were little kids growing up in the house. Little, little mini stick rough and tough, huh? A birth in the semifinals is on the line. Let's get this thing going. Wanna, wanna smell my leg? What? I said, do you wanna smell my leg? It's Benge. It's awful. Whole body's icy hot. Whole team smells like it. We put it all over our bodies. This, this is a cool breeze. This is cold air. Does it actually help? Because the icy hot is cold now. Who do you give the advantage to? I got to give the advantage to Baggage. Just structurally, ever since making that one player change, their playmaking's been incredible. You're talking about Jeff Pollock. He fell ill before the Baggage season opener. And what a difference he made in their 7-4 to four win over Lovias. Luke O'Brien, the younger brother, five goals this season. That's one off the season lead. Jimmy O'Brien, four goals, coming off a hat trick. Winner squares off against Forgotten Rotten in the semifinals, and we are underway. Jimmy North, quick shot on goal, backhanded yeah, by O'Brien! And just like that, Let's seven go. seconds in, Wooga's on the board! That back wall play, I thought, I thought he got there in time, but he sneaks it in. Pavel right away, or wait? Is that the fastest goal to start a game? Ever. We'll, we'll call it six seconds officially. Six seconds, the fastest goal in John Boy floorball history in a, in a game that means a lot. All set up by Jimmy Norp, winning win the battle early, quick shot, and it's the ricochet that does story Ali in. For Luke O'Brien, it's sixth tally, tied with reigning MVP Nick Bowens for the league lead. Tasky in front. Backhander, Rourke oh. gets a couple of saves. And that's where Tasky's so dangerous, winning those loose ball battles. She's a menace. O'Brien gets it on over to Alyssa Cronin. Kickball dad's daughter, third oldest child, runs his social media account. Nice centering pass, but O'Brien wasn't ready. O'Brien wheeling. Really coming out, energy filled. Oh, just to the side as he split two defenders. It's so crazy how lively that back wall is. It just bounces out with pace. That's Jeff Pollock. Ooh. Centering pass and Rourke. I don't know how he saw it or if he saw it, but he stopped it. Yeah, Rourke, the rookie goaltender, getting tips before every game. He said he has a thousand things people have been telling him. Worst save percentage during the regular season. Step up, step up. Shot by Norp, who's been really good. He's so good running. Oh, uh oh Pollock picks up the loose ball, and O'Brien's back to Corral. Great hustle from O'Brien. Don't see him hustle back too often, more on the offensive. Backhanded shot blocked by O'Brien. Tasky picks it up, tries to get it past Cronin, who was a collegiate soccer, soccer oh. star at Georgetown. Great little spin shot from Tasky. That's going to work on, on Rourke. He did not see that one. Pollock, of course, grew up with Jimmy O'Brien. They played on the same energy line on a travel pucks team as teenagers. Yeah, you can tell they just know where each other is at all times. Tasky working behind the net, checked by Cronin. Norp ahead to O'Brien. Dig City oh! scores! O'Brien, two goals quick. Dangles Story Alley forehand on a great pass from Norp. 146 in, it's O'Brien, Luke. Two, O'Brien, Jimmy, nothing. And that's the speed of Norb. We talked about him being a little bit underrated. He can run with pace with the ball with good control and he distributes that ball well. Great play from the kid. Fuck, we're good. Yeah. You can hear Jimmy barking already. Oh. oh, no. I forgot I was even in this game. Here well, we go. Well, hey, Jake gave you a pep talk last he time did. and it worked. He said I'd be fired, so hopefully uh, I'm not going to get fired if I don't score here. No, but you better get your ass in gear here. They're struggling without you. Let's go. One of Pavel's two goals did come with team baggage this year. Let's hear the strategy. All right, let's run it back. Same play as last time. Same play as last time, huh? Yeah. 
We all know what we're doing. You want to go low for tips and disruption? Yeah, I'll stay, I'll stay high. Yeah. They're going to try and burn past us and score short-handed. They're feeling good. Yeah. So i got to stay back. I'm going to be on the left side this time, okay? If you're on my... Yes, yes. Well, all I can say is that baggage is stunned. One forty-six in, they never could have imagined they'd be down a pair of goals. Let's see what Pavel brings on the Pavel play. Swings it on over to O'Brien, loses it. Cronin ahead. Dorp has it now. Oh, Pollock wide. Ball out of bounds. It'll belong to Wugas. Jimmy Dorp to bring it in. Baggage applying massive pressure. Tries to get it past everybody. Out of bounds, it's off of it Luke O'Brien, it so it'll be baggage yeah, yeah, yeah. ball. O'Brien shot deflected. O'Brien again over the goal. Yeah. Final few ticks. And that'll Good do kill. it for the Pavel play. Nothing going for baggage, and uh oh Quick look by Norp, he tried to spin away. Storiali crawling around more frog-like than human-like. Cronin. Taps it in front, nobody home. Pollock collects it, uh-oh, O'Brien with the steal. Already with two goals in this game, looking for a hat trick in the first. You just couldn't get a good look, huh? No, that was that was chaos. Just when you send the balls over, it just ruins the whole play. They got a couple of just time-wasting dumps they could have done. O'Brien picks it off from his younger bro and sends it in the corner. Hey, hi, hi, hi. Boy, his improvement from game one to now. He's so good. I tell you, man, this kid is a born football oh, player. He's got Cronin on the left side. He scored 135 soccer goals in high school. Helped the Hoyas get to a pair of final fours in the Division I level. Outstanding athlete and really learning this sport. Nice oh. deflection by Rourke. Rourke looking solid to start this game. Pollock behind the net trying to center it. Luke O'Brien deflects it away. Nets a little ajar here. Oh, nice move by Cronin. Storiali snags it with a buck 30 to go. Oh, giveaway from Storiali. Picked up by Norp, and he's just wide. O'Brien oh. on O'Brien crime there. Tasky sends it around to Jimmy O. On net and Rourke. Rourke. Solid job so Solid far. Solid job. Solid. That was a little risky. <laughs> you, got, you want to have a leg behind that. Maybe not just go all hands, but it works. Winner of this game moves on to square off against Forgotten Rotten in the semis and picks up five points in the warehouse Here we cup. Go. O'Brien shot yeah, deflected yeah. away by his younger bro. Oh. Shot by Pollock is wide. Under a minute in the opening period. O'Brien off the back wall. They love that play. Tasky dumps it in the corner and Norp will pick it up. You don't want to give Norp too much time because you know he could wheel and deal like this here. Here he comes. Three on two. High and wide. And that just cannot happen. You cannot give him that time and space. Tasky's going to get it in the corner. Back door, back door. Approaching the 32nd mark. Uh oh, she loses it to Luke. Jimmy gets it back. Shot deflected away by Norp. Here comes Luke O'Brien. Off the back wall. Oh! Oh! On, yeah. A whistle on yeah. Luke O'Brien for, I think, goal. running into the goalie. Yeah, uh, he was just running into the goalie, accidentally going for that high ball. No problem there. It'll be baggage ball. I was kind of trying to avoid it. Rip that. It won't be baggage ball. It will be baggage ball. Yeah. Make up your mind. It'll be my ball. Jimmy sends it long, and Norp chases it down. Such a phenomenal athlete. Plays the boards beautifully. Ooh. Storiali gets it. Oh, break it. away, break away. Here we go, Pollock, one on one. Oh. oh. Tasky, no. Oh, denied. And cleared by Cronin. Under five to go. Luke O'Brien centers it. Jimmy. Oh, no, he slid. He can't do that, right? Points no. of contact. He was still, he, he wasn't fully on the ground. That's just the end of the uh, frame there. Is he okay? He's fine. Is our, is our boss dead? Is he okay? Yeah, he just laid it all out Has there. Has anybody checked on him? Wh uh, where's our medic? Yeah, where's our medic? Don't we pay a medic? I'm good. I'm just laying. Why are they screaming fucking medic then, dude? <laughs> they're screaming medic. Oh, they just scream medic. Oh, no, I'm just breathing. Oh, that's Chris, our medic. Yeah. Apparently, he's uh, working for Wugas, so he'll give him some sort of uh, yeah. medicine, I'm sure, that probably won't work out great for him. I think he just stabbed him. All right, so an impressive opening five minutes for Wugas, which has a 2-0 lead.
the meantime, it's time to check in with Kelsey Wingert. Luke, you guys go up two to nothing early, obviously in the first period. You almost had a hat trick in the first period. How big was that for you, not only to do that in this game, but to do it against your brother and frustrate him as much as you did? I think you got to get him baggage head early. Um, so I'm glad we did that. Beyond the two goals, getting through that Pavel play without giving up a goal, huge. Sorry, Pavel. Um, but yeah, that was a really good start. We just got to save some energy for the third. I feel really good. Dan, how do you think the sticker eye black is affecting you in goal this game? I'm a totally changed man. I wanted to come in today with a new approach and part my uh, technique at goalie, which working on it. But uh, this is how I'm supposed to roll, yo. Every other tournament I got eye black on. Why would I not wear it for this? Did you always do the stickers? No, we ran out. I'm not sure uh, what happened, but it was just a tube, no uh, stick. Jimmy Norp, we've talked about it before. You've said the future MVP here on your team, almost a hat trick in the first period. What's it like watching him do what he does out here? Uh, it's phenomenal to know that you have a guy on your team who can take over a game at any moment. Luke did a great job giving us the momentum quick. Scored a goal in like the first five seconds of the game. I think that was huge. Keep doing what we're doing. Keep playing good defense. Keep tiring him out. Luke's the man, though. He's the MVP. Can we get a close-up on his hair? His hair still looks so good. Like, there's no sweat. It's... It's go yeah, it is gorgeous. That's, a, that's the hotel shampoo. <laughs> I mean, there's just no sweat. It's it's wonderful. It looks beautiful. It reminds me of the '80s band Rat. All right, uh, let's take a quick look at the SeatGeek playoff bracket. Once again, the winner of this game moves on to the semifinals to square off against Forgotten Rotten. And taking a look at the overall Warehouse Cup standings, if if Wugas hangs on. They're going to pull into a first-place tie with Lovias and McFlurry Power. Now, one of those teams will get five points in the quarterfinal because they will square off against one another. Time to check in once again with Kelsey. We're taking a quick breather from the action to talk about our floorball sponsor, DraftKings. DraftKings Sportsbook is here to help you get closer to the action. Get some skin in the game. Download the DraftKings app right now. Use our promo code WAREHOUSE. No matter what sport you're a fan of, DraftKings has you covered. If sports betting is not yet available in your state. Don't worry. DraftKings is a one-stop shop. For all things Daily Fantasy, where you can join in on all the fun and have a shot to win cash prizes. Download the DraftKings app now. Use promo code WAREHOUSE when you do. That's promo code WAREHOUSE. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. You know, Jake, when you come over to the baggage bench in any game in floorball, it's just this massive whip of Bengay, of vape rub, of uh, icy cold. Do you think that that could be hurting you guys in this game with how much you applied? Jimmy told me you applied it all over your body. So you're going to be shocked to hear this. I do not have any on me. It's all them. So that smell that we're both smelling is them. So I'm feeling that too. <laughs> Does it affect you guys at all? Uh, in a good way. In a great way. In a great way. Hey, Jimmy, talking to Wugas over there, they said the biggest strategy against you guys is to get in your head early. They feel like they've accomplished that. How do you respond in the second period? How did they, how are, what did they do to get in our head? Scored two goals early. Oh, good, good strategy. It's just good, good game by them. Yeah, that's every team's strategy, score early. No team has had the opposite strategy of that ever. Um, well, we do. <laughs> we're, we uh, can't let them behind us. We know that. That was their game speed, and we got to try and control the ball and play our game speed. But they're playing well. They're covering us up top is smart, but we knew they're a neutral zone team, so we knew that was going to be it. We just got to stay disciplined and uh, play our game. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Good luck in the second period. Let's get some goals on the, on the board. All right, thank you, Kels. Uh, pretty remarkable what we saw out of Luke O'Brien getting on the board in six seconds and really setting the tone. Yeah, I mean, that's going to stick in your head if you're this baggage team. That's just a kick to the nuts right early, especially with this brother-to-brother -brother matchup. Having your younger brother show you up in six seconds like that has to hurt. Second time they've ever squared off, and I'm talking about the O'Brien brothers in floorball. Jimmy got a goal in that game. Luke got a hat trick. He's almost there. Kelsey Winger going to get the second period started for us. Kelsey? Ah, uh, yes. This puck drop, once again, is brought to you by DraftKings. We talked so much about Jimmy Norp, his success as a football player. But when he was in college, he was a bowler. He's bowled in the PBA Tour. He finished 57th out of 60th. Said it showed him he belonged because he didn't finish last. Brothers? Holy shit, he's the Mookie Betts of the warehouse. I had no idea. At minus the 360 mil. 57 out of 60, eh? All right, nice shot on, uh, on net by Pollock. Dan Rourke, a perfect 7 for 7 so far in saves. Yeah, that might be the story of, of the game Seriously. outside of uh, Luke. Oh. Nice pass to Cronin, who whips it. 
Well, didn't whip it, but she blocked it. Yeah, we were talking about that before the game, how she's having trouble keeping it low, just angling that blade, and it's popping up on yeah. her a lot. I mean, she's a goal scorer. I mean, she's that's what she scorer. does. 135 tallies in high school soccer. How in many the state games of New Jersey. was that? I think it was seven. Jesus. Pollock out to Tasky, centers it to nobody. Norp just taking his time. This is usually where the tempo slows a little bit. Yeah. Everybody tries to catch their breath a bit. Everyone goes hard in that first period. This second one, uh -oh. a little bit of catching your breath. Norp trying to work it, trying to split the defenders. Cronin is going to corral it. You'll see her father kick ball dad with an unbeaten We Got Ice in the next quarterfinal matchup. O'Brien trying to use the boards. Here's the other O'Brien. Gets poked away by Pollock. Jimmy Norp against Jimmy O. Oh, oh Tasky almost took it right out of the air. You can see their game plan. Just throw it on net and have Tasky clean up the rebound. Oh, that one almost got by Rourke. And he is truly the wild card. He's been great so far, but it can go in a hurry with him. Yeah, he, he quarterbacks this whole go, thing. Go, 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 go. Like, kind of like Jameis Winston, he'll keep your team in the game, but the other team as well. Yeah, exactly. And O'Brien picks it up just wide. Cronin trying to clear it. Great hustle. Jimmy applies the pressure. Oh. oh, and he couldn't quite get a full stick on it. Great move, looking for the pass. and Oh! Luke O'Brien off the back wall, gets it quickly, circles around, centers it. Big Bro picks it off. He'll hold on to it. Tasky charging up there. He's going to shoot this. Look for a rebound, I think. Two minutes into the second period. A couple of good looks for baggage. Nothing home yet. Centering. No, stopped by Rourke. Rourke just looking calm and cool. Uh, we talked about the rebound control last game. He is sucking these balls up like hungry hippos here. You're allowed to say that, right? Yeah, I said hungry hippos after. Got it. Oh, great spin move by. Oh, no. We see the lettuce, oh. but he couldn't quite get it. Man, oh man, look at that. That shampoo. Lettuce, that is, oh, oh no! that's what I'm talking about. Right through the hands of the goalie. Rourke, who is standing on his head. Sam Tasky, perhaps the furthest shot on net she's ever had in the history of this tournament, because she, she usually cleans it up right in front. Yeah, she is the Zach Hyman of this floorball tournament. Scores, I have no idea what that means. She scores all her goals from right outside the crease, but that one from distance, right through the gloves, great shot. And here, I mean, Rourke made the initial save, and then it just trickles right past him. Now, as a goalie here, you see how he was trying to catch that like a baseball or football. Easier to just redirect them and just swat them away than it is to catch them, and it goes just goes right through the fingers there. You know what I think? More eye black. More eye black. You, you can't use the stickers. It's got to be the real thing. Yeah. Jeff Pollock with his third assist now in his second floorball game. Of course, he missed the season opener when he fell ill. Oh, oh and look who does it again. Oh. It's Jimmy Norp. Again, the most underrated player in this tournament, I believe. Whoa. Oh, he's not stopped. He's signing Shelfie's head. Oh. oh, it was his headband. Oh, my God. I love Jimmy Norp. Wow. There is going to be a lot of people asking for this kid's autograph. He's He was robbing to... Uh, to O'Brien's uh, Batman before, but I think he might be taking over the leadership role in this team. Wow, Jimmy Norp. He has just literally come out of nowhere. His fourth tally of this tournament. Said, I've never really played. You know what? He's one of those guys that's just great at everything. He, uh, absolutely, and I think he does this in his basement. He looks like a basement dweller to me. Are you saying he lives in his basement? Yeah, Fair yeah, yeah. A hundred percent. Oh. All right, so Baggage had the momentum, and Wuga steals it right back. I'm surprised they haven't called for you. Oh, they already used they it. They can't. Sorry, it's over. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. Hey. Oh, look at Norp. He's getting rid, rid of his uh, hat. Oh, Kevin's taking it. Kevin's put that on. I'm not so sure that's good for Jimmy. Under two to go in the second. Here's Pollock centering past the Tasky. Oh, Rourke. Deflected once, twice, thrice. And Cronin's going to try and clear it. And oh, she does, but picked off by O'Brien. Deflected out of bounds, it'll be baggage ball. Norp just gets there, that was a brutal giveaway, but Norp sees it right away, gets on that one knee and blocks it. So Norp is wearing a headband and a hat. He really wants that hat. He's lost it like three times, but he keeps putting it back on. Can we get some uh, rubber cement on it? Oh, 
Centering pass, Pollock. Can't quite get the rebound. Luke O'Brien, two Lop. first period goals, lobs it ahead to Cronin. Cronin working against Tasky. She's got to apply pressure, doesn't she? Absolutely, Force you want to press that right away. 90 ticks left in the second period. Wuga's taking a little air out of the ball. Quick strike, Story Ali, nice turn. Quick pressure on him right away. Uh-oh. Baggage can't quite clear the ball. No, Tasky's open there. Oh, long shot, O'Brien follows it up, no! And, and he there gets it the goal! Is. It's not pretty, but you follow up your shot, put it to the net, good things happen. And Baggage scores to get within one, and they're gonna use a timeout with 1.11 left here in the second period. Right when you think the momentum has shifted, they grab it right back, Baggage is in this one. And we, talk, we talked before the game, me and Rourke, about right, hugging that post, or, and we see this here after this shot. Doesn't hug the post, what happens? Off the butt, in the net. And if you're wondering why Baggage would utilize one of their two timeouts, you have to use one before the third period. That's right. Can't save them all for the end. Raucous crowd on hand. This is the second of our four quarterfinal matchups. We'll give one more look right now at the Seat Geek playoff bracket. Once again, the winner of this game will square off against Forgotten Rotten. More importantly, get five points in the Warehouse Cup standings. For Wugas, that would give them 15, which would pull them at least temporarily into a first place tie with McFlurry Power and Lovias. For baggage, it would get them out of the skunk category if you're looking ahead to 2025. Yeah, man, I, I was talking to Jimmy before this. I know they are just dying for a victory, specifically in floorball. He felt he was robbed a bit last year. They had more in the tank, so they're gonna have to have a great third period to make sure this happens for them. Well, when you look at all the banners that hang in here, what don't you see? Yeah, no blue, not a lot of blue in the sky in the warehouse. No baggage, it's baggageless. Baggageless. It's like, it's like Air Canada when they lose your baggage every single time. Is that a bad time. airline? That's so bad. Oh. God, they suck. Cross them off the sales list. Please. Closing in on a minute to go in the second. Baggage, she's gotten back within one. Centering dish. Oh, did it, did it. You like that description? Yeah, that was good. I think everyone knows what that means. Tasky steals oh. it. Ball behind the net, and Rourke's like, give yeah. me ball. Give yeah. me ball. The caveman Rourke back there. Deflected by Jimmy out of bounds. Oh, that was nice. Older brother taking care of his younger brother. 40 seconds to go here in the second. Norp slowing things down. Sends it over to Luke O'Brien. Looks like they want the final shot here. Oh, Jimmy loses his stick. Norp being pressured by Pollock. What's up? Out to Cronin at the point. Great Swings pass. it on over to Luke. Luke in on Jake. Oh, he just goes wide with 20 ticks left. Out of what Jake with the quick feet there, kicking him out. Baggage looking for one more opportunity on net, and Rourke stops it with his belly. Never a bad play, put it on net. Eight seconds left, they're gonna get one more shot. Here comes Norp. Oh, did he lose it? O'Brien, backhander, oh. no! And that will do it through two periods of play. Action back and forth. It's Wuga's three, Baggage two, a berth in the semifinals at stake. And a quick reminder that Four Ball 3 is presented by SeatGeek. With more than 28 million downloads, do you know that has made SeatGeek the number one rated ticketing app around? They got more than 70,000 events daily available on their app. We're talking about sporting events and concerts and festivals and oh so much more, but they've got all the seats there in one bundle, so it makes shopping so easy. And they are always looking out for your back. And what am I talking about? They rate each ticket purchase on a scale of zero to 10. The higher the number, the better the ticket. They also color code it for you. So if you see a green dot next to that seat, it means buy it. If you see a red dot next to that seat, it means don't buy it. Now you might look at the chart and say, hold on. Floor seats, red dot, I don't understand. It means you're not getting the best deal around. So SeatGeek is always looking out for you. And we got a special offer for our warehouse customers out there. Use that code WAREHOUSE10. You're going to get 10% off. Once again, the code is WAREHOUSE10. You're going to get 10% off your first purchase. Whether you're a returning customer or 
a SeatGeek newbie. Just click on the link in the description. If you don't already have the app on your phone, go get it today. We'll see you at a sporting event near you. Kelsey. We've said before that you guys consider yourself to be more strategy than skill. I hear a lot of strategizing going on right now. Can you summarize what you're thinking right now? We get the start of the ball because we're down. So I want to make sure we have a solid plan on that possession since it's an advantage. Uh, and they're tough because they're fast. You got you to gotta be on them at the top to stop the quick shot as we saw with Rourke. But then you also got to chase them down low like we saw with Luke. So it's tiring. It's a tough matchup for us old people. <laughs> yeah, I'm not old. 17 years younger than me? Luke is your brother? No, no. Luke's 10. Rourke's probably 12. Or Norp and Rourke. They do have a lot of energy. Yeah. I don't. That's what we used to look like. Yeah, we were the energy line when we were young. How does this atmosphere compare to the great Coors Field? Oh, it's incredible here. Even tiny venue, sweaty. I love it. Coors Field is, of course, one of the best ballparks. Can't compare it to that, but in terms of small venue, this is the best in the world. This is the best warehouse. It is. That is true. It is the best warehouse. Jake, how you doing with the heat and goal? You got all the gear on. I'm good. I finally got one that felt like okay, but they're dominating. So uh, we tie it, we win. That's it. We all love you, Sam. Thanks. We, I love you, too. Thank you. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the uh, two baggage goals quickly. Um, first of all, Tasky got him on the board with the lengthy shot. Yeah, just right through the hands. He's trying to catch this like a baseball and just goes right through those little butter fingers of his. A uh, little goaltending error, but still a great pace shot from Tasky. And then Jimmy O'Brien, uh, dare I say, playing with himself? Yeah, I mean, he plays with himself a lot, and this, this time it actually works out for him, and he finishes. Oh, God, I just heard it. Kelsey. Sorry. Checking back in on the hair. It's looking good still. You really have been chasing this hat down the whole game. It flies off. You put it back on. Why is the hat so important? Um, one, I'm very superstitious. I'm like the most superstitious guy you'll ever know. So I always wear a hat when I play sports. Two, I just simply can't see, even with the headband. So, yeah, need the hat. You could push it a little higher, I guess, but then you kind of look goofy. I mean, I already look goofy, but, you know. You're, you can see better with the hat on? Correct, yes, because the hat, you, like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, That's a problem, yeah. Okay, all makes sense now, all makes sense. All right, it's the O'Brien Bowl. So far, he has a goal, you have two goals. Who's the better brother? I think at this point it's a cardio game, and I have 10 years in them, so I should be able to win that. Have you been calling your mom more recently? Yeah, so much. You haven't heard anything about it, right? She's not here. Yeah. Why isn't she here? Um, I think we scared her away at the last O'Brien brother battle, so she wanted no part of this one. All right, well, good luck the rest of the way, guys. She is watching right now, however, on our YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, it's our Blitzball family. Hi, gang. See? Look at them. Uh, also, I just want to clarify, Jake Storielli said, if we tie, we win. We didn't change the rules. If you tie, you're tied. Right. You have to win to win. Uh, details. All right, five minutes left between a berth in the semifinals and going home. We'll see you in Blitzball Battle 5 for the loser. It's going to be interesting seeing the pace from this baggage team. Well, Jimmy said they want to draw up a nice play to start it out. Here it is, dropped in for oh. O'Brien. Pollock in front, oh. and he gets and it! In it! Right away! Just like Jimmy O'Brien said, he said we wanted an ace possession out of the gate, and Jeff Pollock has netted another tally to tie it at three, which means, according to Jake Storiali's math, they win. Hey, Rosie, that's a strategy team. Didn't quite break the six-second record, but they score in eight seconds. So what'd you see here? Pollock got it once and wrapped around. Gosh. Yeah, I just blocked it, blocked the shot from Jimmy inadvertently, but then he picks it back up and just puts it through oh. Rourke. Second time it goes off me bum and into the goal. Yeah, he's got to maybe just not have an ass and he'd, he'd only be allowing one goal. I don't know. So you're saying I can't be a goaltender anytime soon? No, no, you got that big badonkadonk. Maybe, maybe I could turn the opposite way. Yeah, yeah, then you cover the whole net. Yeah. So, second straight game, each bad, member bad. of Team Baggage has scored a goal. 
And yep. we are knotted at three with four and a half to go. This sport's so much about depth and everyone contributing on this baggage team. They're looking good. Such a big four plus minutes for baggage. Shut out so far in the warehouse. Oh. Come standing, Tasky. Yeah, you great wrap around and work with his best save of the day. Absolutely. You have to give it to Tasky. Her shots. Oh, Norpin. Storiali up to it. She's gotten so much better at that wrap shot, running with the ball, tucked in that forehand. Baggage still searching for its first oh warehouse God. cup points. That ball's out of bounds, and we got more action coming your way, but first, a word from our sponsors. Mountain Dew blind taste test. Let's see who is going to be going up next. Joe's McFly. I'm going to do good. Mmm. Do I have to give you a guess as soon as I taste it? No, I'll allow that. You'll allow it. Ah, is this Mountain Dew Code Red? Diet Mountain Dew. Why'd my voice crack? Uh oh. Why is this Mountain Dew Code Red? This tastes like Mountain Dew Voltage. I'm gonna lock it in. Oh, man, what are you? This is Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Oh, so this is original Mountain Dew. I'm lock it in. I'm so confident about this. Oh man, I think I'm wrong. Okay, I got this one, and I got this one. Wait, no, I didn't. This one you got wrong, and this one you got wrong. The mountain is calling, and you should answer. Grab your friends, grab an ice cold Mountain Dew wherever refreshing beverages are sold, and do the do. 3.59 to go in the warehouse. It's Baggage 3, Wooga's 3, Forgotten Rotten awaits the winner. Cancun awaits the loser courtesy of Inside the NBA. <laughs> this is a big free hit here. Haven't heard much from Luke O'Brien since those two early tallies. And no. he's wide. He's been a little bit quiet. He's a counter-attack player. Not a lot of turnovers from baggage. Norp high off the wall. I got it, I got it, I got it. Pollock clears it. And they don't go heavy on the presses. Uh, this baggage team sitting back here. Long shot by Luke O'Brien. Cronin whiffs on the clear. Luke battling Pollock. And Norp will collect it. Nice move. Oh, look at Norp just. Oh! oh my God! He squeezes oh. one just past Storiali, who loses his mask and loses a tie game. Unbelievable. This kid just continues to dazzle us all with his wheels and his sense for the net, just drives it, puts it short side on Storiali. Look at the move by Norp, kept it alive, and man, oh man, oh. all you need is just a little daylight. That yeah. makes the difference. You saw the story Ali just cheating a little bit, not hugging that post. There was a little tunnel there, and he put it right, on, right under him. Norp now with five goals this season. Only his teammate Luke O'Brien and reigning MVP Nick Bowens, who we will see later on in the quarterfinals, has more. That's the tough thing, you can't give them too much time, but you also got Norp who can burn you with the speed, so you can't get too heavy press on them either. Three and a half to go. Baggage with dreams of trying to hang a banner for the first time ever in the warehouse. Here's that speed again. Norp in. Backhander oh. turned away by Story Alley. This is becoming a big recurring theme for Baggage. Oh, Luke steals it from his brother who gets pushed by Big Bro, no call. And Storiali tries to clear it, but Nor picks it off at center. This kid's everywhere. Kicked away by Pollock. Under three to go, centering pass kicked by Jimmy. Trying to get it ahead to Tasky. Cronin intercepts. And a big swing by Norp is turned away. Oh, oh another no, turnover. Norp. Again. High oh, high stick. Hit you high. It hit you about waist high. Norp is becoming a massive problem for Baggins. They might need to double him. And we got a timeout for Wugas with 2.47 to go. Kelsey. What were you just discussing with Sam? We're trying to do another set play. Uh, off the wall to Sam. Off the wall to Sam. That's our girl. Well, it worked for Baggage the last time they ran a set play at the beginning of the third period. Boy, oh boy, they've just been chasing it since the onset. They got to stop coughing it up and they got to really get on Norp quickly here because he has been uh, owning them all game here. Here we go, let's see if the set play works. O'Brien the long shot and it gets kicked around in traffic. Tasky trying to apply the pressure on Cronin. Norp 
with the punt. Good Chester by Jimmy. Yeah, heavy press from Luke, brother on brother. Oh! Uh oh, turns oh, it over. Oh. Here's Norp. Good move to the left. Oh, Center. Knocked luck. away by Pollock. He had O'Brien there. Trying to get it again. Uh oh, uh oh. Ball bouncing around everywhere. 2.15 to play. Jimmy sends it oh. all the way down. Rourke. Not a bad play. Hey, Remember, they said they're going to go off the wall to Tasky. When will that happen? Luke ah. just side. They get it ahead to Pollock. Tries to center it over to a moving Tasky. I got to tell you, Norp has been so impressive. Yeah, he has been hey. by far the most notable player here. You can see they don't want to press him too much, but they don't have a lot of time. He's going to have to chase him. Pollock moving. Browns crew member with the Colorado Rockies. Joined us here for the festivities for the first time ever. Now Luke O'Brien being yeah. a little bit of a show off and gets it back to Norp. They're gonna have to really start applying the pressure. Oh, oh nice stop by Storiali. Tasky trying to clear it. Oh, under 90 seconds left. They can't get it up to O'Brien. Storiali again with a great save. If and there's a timeout. Another timeout. If Baggage is gonna have any chance of winning this game, it looks like it's gonna be on a counter attack because the Wukas are just controlling the ball the entire time. You gotta imagine that uh, Jimmy's probably devising one last drawn up play. Yeah, I couldn't see why they would change the last play. They didn't even get a chance to go off the wall, so we'll see what they draw up here. Oh, we start with the ball. You guys stay back. Let me cause havoc down there for a little. Just get my energy. Because when it's at your feet, those right there, if you just back that, I'm, I'm wide open. All right. They're putting pressure down here. All right, one minute. Don't get beat on defense. One seventeen left between Wugas and a third straight berth in the semifinals this season in the Warehouse Cup. Will Luke O'Brien and his squad end the banner dreams of older bro and co-founder Jimmy O? Look at Jimmy's the high guy now. There's, Jimmy the, there's the set play. Oh. oh, gosh, nobody was there. But you got to get on him right away. You got one minute left. You got to get on him. Here comes Jimmy against Jimmy. Knocked away. Oh, Tasky had it hop over her stick. Two on one. Cronin. Oh. Cronin. No, kicked away. Luke O'Brien against Tasky. He gets it. Off the boards and up. Pollock gets it centered. And Rourke scoops it up. 45 to go. Norp. Off the boards, over to Cronin. Oh, she is wide open. Couldn't get it. That's, and it's out of bounds. That's off baggage. This will still be Wuga's ball with 37 left to play. They're going to have to really desperately press this team to get this ball back. Storiali wants to take the mask off, but he's going to start with it on. Then he's going to get it aside once... Jimmy, Baggage gets possession. Jimmy's got to be right on Norp. You can't allow that easy pass there. Not enough time for that. Norp, look at the fresh legs of a kid in his early 20s. Harry, look oh. at Jimmy. Hustle him down, though. Great All play. Right. Story Ali's going to break free and grab a stick. Extra attacker. Whoa! Oh, oh my goodness. We had an O'Brien collision, and Jimmy's down. Brother right. on brother. It was a totally accidental, right. but both players going hard, competing hard. Hopefully he's okay. I tripped first. Did not see what happened. I was looking over to see if Rourke had the ball. I tripped over my own foot in front of him. I think it's exhaustion as much as yeah. anything. As you saw, Luke was already falling when Jimmy was sprinting after the ball. Yeah, just, wow. a, just a freak accident tripping over his feet before that. Unfortunately, takes out Jimmy, Ow. who gets a lot of air time. You see him land right on that left hip there, that, that has got to hurt. Folks, this is fun. We have so much fun, but you tell me it's not about the competition with the game on the line, and I'll call you a liar. I mean, Jimmy wants it. You know, we get it, like, we laugh and giggle, like, haha, baggage doesn't have a banner. It pisses him off. Absolutely. You can see it in the eyes. Every time he loses, every time they lose a loose ball, they get a goal scored on him, you see it. I mean, so many of these players play collegiately, whether we're talking about 
you know, at the Division One, Division Three level or club, like you still get that hard race and it means something. It's hard to turn that switch off. Just ask uh, Reg and Russ. Yep. That's why I miss competitive eating. Yeah, you were so good at that. 20 seconds to go. Don't you have to apply the pressure here? I think they're just being good sports, giving ah, them it back because it was an nice. accident. Nice play. Here comes Jake, out of goal. Dishes it back to Pollock. Oh, picked off and oh, just no. wide. Luke oh, no. hits the side of the net, under 10 to go. Maybe one last flurry by Baggage. Nor yeah. picks it off and, and he's gonna get the hat it. trick. First of his career, a third tally for him. Another one for Wugas. We will see them in the semifinals. No one more deserving of a hat trick than Norpy here. Who He's ironically could not keep his hat on all game long. Ex exactly. And he can throw it for he can, himself. He can throw his own hat on, but then he'll have to pick it up because he's so superstitious. But a hell of a he's game. He's a little from stitious. Him. Little stitious. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. So Jimmy will just touch it in to finish this thing up. Just heartbreak for baggage. Look at Jimmy, just so distraught. Another year, another elimination in the postseason for baggage. The team of Luke, Jimmy, Alyssa, and Dan Rourke let in a couple of cheapies, but he also came up big time when he needed it most. Wugas. Moving on to the semifinals where they will square off against Forgotten Rotten. They pick up another five points and they pull even temporarily with Lovias and McFlurry Power atop the Warehouse Cup standings. And for Jimmy O'Brien, Jake Storiali, and Team Baggage, it's another early exit for the third straight tournament in 2024. 5-3, Wugas is a winner. For Kelsey Wingert and Pavel Barber, I'm Chris Rose. We'll see you next time here in the playoffs of Floorball Season 3.